So the kingdom of heaven is, uh, is here and it is now. It's not in some little country over in the middle of the east that is not Zion. Uh, spiritual Israel is uh, it, it, Israel in general, which it's always been. Israel's always been a people, uh, and so we've. Uh, it's here and it's now, and uh, and 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 you can tell because God has gathered immigrants from all around the world here, and of course you've got you've got a big part of this country who are running them into the ground and saying they shouldn't be here or somehow it's not God's prerogative uh, to direct them here. But we've got immigrants from all over the planet here, right here, right now. And so uh, this, is, this is what's going on. Uh, and so you could imagine what I'm gonna say about the 144, okay? So when, 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 when we start to fix where we're at, these immigrants who've, uh, whose countries we've, we've destroyed, you, could you imagine that it's most likely them that's actually going to go back and take the skills that they've learned here and the things that they've learned here in Zion, the kingdom of heaven on earth, and actually take it back to where they're from? And, and maybe we should stop running them into the ground and stop abusing them and misusing them and mischaracterizing them and why they're here and what led them here. You understand? And a couple more things I want to mention about the 144. When it's when when it says uh, when it says virgin men, virgin, we're talking about never taking a vow not committing yourself and and, and we're going to we're going to mention something again cuz it doesn't and we're not talking about a marital vow but we're talking about vows to secret society fraternal organizations uh things that were not uh ordained by god okay and so when we're talking about a man of God, we're always talking about a man and woman. A man and a man of God is always a, a, a what we're talking about is a man and a woman. Okay, so start to if you can start to wrap your head around that and what the what those what that means and what the numbers look like and what we're actually talking about, there it it gives you a different idea of. Of, uh, of what we might be looking at here and what we might be looking at going forward. It's just a different consideration. I'm not trying to reinterpret anything. You know, there, there is a Scooby-Doo mentality, this childish, cartoonish reality that's going on within religion and theology and government. It's a Scooby-Doo reality. Where everybody's going around calling each other's names. Everybody's going around trying to tear each other's mask off, calling each other demons. Uh, you, you must be infested with the demon. You need to be delivered. This is, a, this is some antichrist stuff. It, it's gotten ridiculous. We got to make a way forward for each other and have something to build off of. And for the people to say, we have to read the Bible straight up and there's nothing that the Holy Spirit can do to minister to us and that we have to take the, the, the standard interpretation that's been handed down from generation to generation over time, you're full of shit. You're full of shit. You obviously don't know the Holy Spirit. You're not caught up in this move and you're not going to back us down from it. We know the Holy Spirit. We know the living Christ. And you're not going to tell us that he can't teach us and reveal things to us and give us revelation. Or that there's somehow there's something wrong with us or wicked or that we're being influenced by demonic voices or some shit like that. You're out of your minds.
Now I love y'all, and we're gonna have a we're gonna have a healthy, productive way forward. You're not gonna knock down me and the rest of Israel. You're not gonna do it. We're on our way. We're on the way of Jesus Christ. The way, the spiritual practice of the man, the Hebrew man that we call Jesus Christ. The way, not Christianity. He didn't practice Christianity. That's actually religianity, polyanity. It's a cult dedicated for a large part to, 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 to the exercise and the teachings of Paul. Don't play games with me. I love y'all.